Henry Cavill, huh? Oh, I'm really excited about that. Uh-oh. I'm really excited about that. An announcement at D23? Well, well, well. This should be very interesting. You know, um, I, th I, I think he would actually be a great, uh, he would work as a great Cyclops. Cyclops, Captain Britain, Hyperion. I think he worked as several characters. Let's get it, though. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. And now, we are officially one week away from Marvel Studios' panel at D23. One week away. Next okay. Saturday, September 10th. And something okay. very interesting and very, very curious has happened today. A lot of names have been thrown out there that have apparently been cast over at Marvel Studios, and they come from a verified Twitter account, and some insiders are retweeting this tweet, which would seemingly make it appear like this casting report is true. However, it's very interesting because the report is coming from somebody not inside of our industry. But like I mentioned, major scoopers and some big outlets have backed up the casting report. And there are some truly big names on this casting report. And one of those big names is Henry Cavill. Superman himself. So it looks like we could actually have our Fantastic Four cast already and possibly even some X-Men. And apparently, according to this reporter, if his information is accurate, we're supposed to get an announcement at D23 in a week from today. So let's go over this report. Let's go over all of these different actors and which Marvel will treat them right in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And of course, if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on Marvel will treat Henry MCUs. right. Okay, so first things first, this report is coming from somebody named Emmett Kennedy. He does have a verified Twitter account, but here's the catch. He's a broadcaster on Talk Sport 2. He has racing's number one podcast, Final for a Long Pod. And okay. when I say racing, I mean horse racing. He's been on CNN, uh, uh. RTE, ITV. He's a commentator, and he is a voiceover actor. So that's the catch. He doesn't actually have anything to do in our industry, although he does seem to be credible at his own job. That makes it really weird. It's a weird report because it's coming from somebody who is typically credible, but it has nothing to do with Marvel Studios mm. or anything in the MCU. But as I mentioned, know nobody, this tweet, which we're about to go over, has been retweeted by some big insiders. So here is the tweet and list of names that he said is joining Marvel Studios. His tweet says, I'm reliably informed that Marvel Studios have signed epic talent for Phase 5. Here's the list. John Boyega, Henry Cavill, Jody Comer, Daisy Edgar-Jones, John Krasinski, Giancarlo Esposito, and Denzel Washington. Really? Now, the tweet ends by saying, To be announced... Who's Denzel playing? ...on stage by Kevin Feige at D23 Expo 2022. Hashtag... I keep saying Ford, Cavill. I, I know it's Cavill. He had a follow-up tweet that said, Bring on D23 Expo 2022. Now, these are obviously huge names. And of yeah. course, we're going to be talking about the roles huge. that they could possibly be playing. Not as big as mine, talk about credibility. but still now, huge. I don't know anything about Emmett Kennedy. He seems to be respectable in his own industry. And of course, it's always possible that you can meet other people who know information that could be legitimate. Having said that, take this with a grain of salt because he's not in our industry. However, like I said, some big insiders <laughs> like Daniel RPK have retweeted the list that he has put out there giving him credit for it. Daniel RPK is known for his leaks, and he's been very accurate very lately. Also, Geek Vibes Nation recently put out that same list, also giving credit to Emmett. And Skylar Schuler over at the Biz Insider, who I know is very careful about what he says online, says that Daisy Edgar Jones as Sue Storm, wouldn't that be fantastic with a little smirk face? So it seems like this list, or at Daisy least Edgar some Jones. people on this list, could be legitimately cast for some roles in the X-Men and the Fantastic Four and Marvel. Studios. Mm -hmm. Now, I also want to add that John Boyega, of course, is from the Star Wars franchise. Grace Randolph recently yes, said mm -hmm. that Marvel Studios was looking at somebody from the Star Wars franchise. So mm -hmm. this also goes with that report as well. Now, who could these actors be playing? Well, no offense to John Boyega, but I don't see him as Mr. Fantastic or the Human Torch. So that leads me to believe that he could be playing the Thing if he could be cast for the Fantastic Four. Yeah, if he's weird. been cast for the X-Men, well, there's actually a lot of people that he could be really yeah. good at. 
And actually seeing John Boyega, Giancarlo Esposito, and Denzel Washington on this list leads me to believe that we could have not necessarily a Days of Future Past movie, but maybe like a young Magneto and an older Magneto. I was just about thing, to say. John Boyega could play a younger Magneto, and maybe Giancarlo or Denzel playing the older Magneto. I actually don't think they'll do that, but that's kind of the vibe I get here. But like I said, there are many X-Men that he could play. He could play Nightcrawler. He could play a version of Gambit, Havoc, Sabretooth. There's a lot of different X-Men characters that he could play. Well, now, so now the names I was thinking. Giancarlo Esposito could be playing Magneto as well. However, he has mentioned recently cool and very publicly right that he would love to play Professor X. And I think a lot of people have expressed that they would really be on board with this. Now, if he were to be cast as Professor X and the fact that Denzel Washington is on this list, I want to say that Denzel Washington would be playing Magneto. However, yeah. I think Denzel is a little bit too old for the character. And I also don't think that he'll want to commit to the franchise for what the next What are you talking about? Look how old what the call it was when he played Magneto. Which leads me to that he might actually be playing a villain role. Now, this could be a Fantastic Four villain. Role. This could be an X-Men villain or simply a Marvel villain in general. But of course, I am not against Denzel Washington joining the MCU in the slightest. I think it would be really cool to see him there. And Marvel Studios really has been getting some huge big name actors recently huge. we've gotten Angelina Jolie Salma huge. Hayek Michelle Yeoh Tony Lau Michelle huge. Pfeiffer Michael Douglas it's a big list it's not a small list of big actors we've had really really big actors in the MCU and Denzel Washington could be the next one now Jodie Comer who you might know from the movie Free Guy she was supposedly on a list of actors who could play Sue Storm however Skylar Schuler's tweet seems to imply that Daisy Edgar Jones is going to be playing Sue Storm. So if that's the case, then Jodie Comer could be up for an X-Men role. And I mean, there's just a ton of different characters yeah. that she could play. She could play Rogue. Yeah, she I was play just thinking Rogue. She could even play Jean Grey. It's not yeah. that hard to Jean die Grey. in your red. There's I just a whole that. bunch of characters that she could play. Yeah. And I really hope that she is cast for some type of role in the MCU because I truly enjoyed her in Free Guy. And I actually personally think that she could make a very good Emma Frost. Now, we do have two yeah. people left, and they're kind of big, but they're also kind of controversial. And we'll start with Henry Cavill. I personally think that he would make an amazing Sentry. Now, there's been rumors going around for a while that Henry Cavill could play Sentry or Hyperion. Now, honestly, he would fit both of these characters perfectly. They are basically yeah. kind of variants of Superman, specifically Hyperion. Hyperion, in the comics, was the only survivor of the race of the Eternals from a dying world. Of course, we know the Eternals, but they did kind of change their origin in the MCU. Okay. As an adult, he would grow up to become a superhero known as Hyperion, and he would be on the team of like superheroes right known as the Squadron Supreme. Now, here's where things get interesting and connect to the MCU. His universe would eventually start to collapse with another universe. Otherwise, what is known as Incursion, that has been mentioned in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and in the Secret Wars comic line, is kind of the, the main thing that happens that right brings all of the universes cool to together, leaving only one that universe. Really That's good. what happens to Sentry. His universe is destroyed and he's left in a void. But of course he goes on to fight with the Avengers and a bunch of other different heroes as well. And his powers are basically mm -hmm. like Superman's. He has superhuman speed, strength, flight, he doesn't need to eat. His skin is basically impenetrable, but he does have superhuman healing as well. He has x-ray vision, he has enhanced hearing, but he does have things like cosmic energy manipulation, which is a little bit different from Superman, but okay. basically what this means is that he has atomic vision, meaning that he can project beams of highly concentrated heat from his eyes, kind of like Superman does. So Hyperion okay. is essentially Marvel's Superman. Yeah. Now, Sentry is essentially the same. The origin story is way different, however. Yeah. Sentry's name is Robert Reynolds, and he gets the power of a thousand suns by breaking into an unknown laboratory because he was a meth head, and he ingests a serum. Now, this serum was meant to be a duplicate of the super soldier serum that Captain America took. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be a thousand times stronger. Robert took it and became the Sentry. Now, he was a meth addict before, however, he really cleans his act up. Once he becomes a superhero and he ends up fighting alongside the Fantastic Four, they fight Doctor Doom and they defeat him. He becomes a mentor for Spider-Man, actually, and he fights alongside a lot of other heroes. He has a lot of powers mm -hmm. that Hyperion has, except he has some really cool things about him as well. He is basically immortal. He can resurrect himself. He has clairvoyance, he so he's himself. basically psychic. He has matter manipulation and can actually share his powers with other people. 
people. And he can actually <laughs> turn invisible. And of course, he has all of those other superpowers like flight, superhuman speed, and vulnerability, yeah. and a lot of other cool powers as well. So again, kind of like a Superman. And since mm -hmm. Superman is played by Henry Cavill in the DC Universe, I think we know that Henry Cavill would make a good Century War Hyperion. Cavill. And the, <laughs> now, the controversial thing about that Story is of my that life. simply be switching <laughs> from DC to Marvel, almost playing the same role, and it would kind of be a Marvel versus DC thing. Sure. But hey, I'm all I for think him should play the role in both. And the last one is John Krasinski. Superman now, and DC and Hyperion over or whoever. appeared that John Krasinski was only cast as Mr. Fantastic strictly for Multiverse of Madness. And Which not I hate if they're not going to use him again. Kevin Feige had already stated that it was sort of a fan service to cast John Krasinski yeah. in Multiverse of Madness, so we didn't think that he would be the main one. However, he is on this list, so it looks like he could indeed still we be just playing killed him like that. Like I hate unless that. they cast him for another role, which would be very interesting, but I would be very curious to see. Think give us that However, and snatch I, away. I can't stand that. So let me know what you think about all of these actors in this report and who you think they'll be playing. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. You don't miss out on any of the latest news. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you wolf, so much for watching. Wolf. Wolf, wolf. Well, thank you very much for that, Cosmic Wonder. Make sure y'all do subscribe to him. Um, so, so, so what do y'all think? I mean, I think someone had, I think when it was discussed before, they were saying something about, you know, dude playing Professor X and then wanting Denzel as uh, Magneto. Um, if they're going to go that way, I could definitely see them doing that with them. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to go over, uh, with fans. Uh, Disney is already, I mean, I don't understand why they're not learning from this. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand it. I mean, Lord of the Rings is going through it. I, I don't get why they don't, but we'll, we'll see. I, I don't know who they're going to cast. Um, me right now, um, I've kind of settled into everything that's going on in the entertainment industry. I've kind of settled into a, I will just observe the chaos. And I will report and tell you if I like a show or a movie or not. I will just, you know, then no more of the, yo, yo, Nick, what y'all need to do is it, no more of that. I'm just saying I'm not, you know, I'm just, I'm tranquil. I'm in a Zen master moment. I observe chaos while living in my own zen perfection. That's how I do it now. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so we'll see what they do with them. Cavill, Captain Britain, he'd be a great Cyclops, great Hyperion. I don't know about Sentry, but he might be a great Sentry too. Uh, there's a lot of characters he could play. I mean, if he can do a Louisiana accent, he could be Gambit, you know what I mean, like, he's, he, he has that, that look, that Superman look transfers to a lot of other characters, depending on how you do the hairstyle and everything like that, you know, he could play Wolverine if he wanted to, you know what I'm saying, like, he, he has that face and look, now, as long as you do his hair right, and if he can do certain voices or accents, and maybe not, depending on how they want to do it, but, you know what I mean? So, uh, and all the rest of them, I don't know. I mean, John Boyega, I, I mean, there's a there's several different black characters that he could play. So, so I, I don't know. You know, Bishop, I, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And if you enjoyed, uh, excuse me. My review and take and reaction on this news. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and shout. 10 million subscribers. Woo!